Alright, so China is not known for their vehicles by any means, but they may have just changed the game. While working with GM, of course. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Moving on to the video, I'm sick of saying that kind of stuff every time. <laughs> Let me give you the rundown. Chinese company Wuling paired up with GM to make a transforming truck that can go from flatbed to regular bed whenever you need. This truck is called the Wuling Zhangtu? Wuling... 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 Wuling Zhangtu. I don't know. Sounds about right. The truck is it's decent size and measures in at about 16.5 feet long, or 5,105 millimeters, and 5.4 feet wide, or 1,640 millimeters. Now before we get to the thing that makes this truck special, let's talk about how it looks. In all honesty, the truck is... It's pretty butt ugly in my opinion. <laughs> the truck is a really weird mix of trucks across every generation. It looks like uh, a mother full-size truck and her child mini truck had a weird deformed baby yeah no obviously ignoring the incestuous connotations in that analogy i just made which actually surprisingly fit what i'm talking about it also has a really weird mix of the boxy look of classic trucks and the curvy looks of real modern trucks hashtag real trucks have curves but yeah no it, it looks like it doesn't really know what it's trying to do and it kind of makes it pretty ugly that said, this truck is not designed to turn heads at SEMA. This truck is designed for... BOOM! Hard work. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this thing has a 6.5 foot long work bed, or 2,000 millimeters if you want to get... Uh, BS measurements if you want to call it that. <laughs> which gets even larger when you fold out the sides. Some of the criticisms that people have made so far is that they probably can't handle weight all that well, but in my personal opinion, I've stood on a bunch of trunk beds before and I'm weighing like almost like 200 pounds, but uh, even if it can't handle a ton of weight, it's the center part that's really important, not the sides, because you're not gonna be stacking everything up only on the sides. Most likely it's gonna be spread across. So my person personally, I don't think it's gonna be a problem but that's a criticism that I've heard of it so far. They're worried about how much weight it can take. Ultimately, the most important thing is the sheer amount of bed space because there's a lot of pictures of China that go around where people are just stacking way too much stuff on their car. So this truck is probably gonna be a lifesaver. The interior is extremely, extremely basic for the modern day, but that can be a good thing. In fact, all it really has is an eight inch infotainment system with GPS and that's a about it. Now up next is my problem with it, which is the engine. Now a lot of modern trucks are more efficient than trucks of the old days, but there comes a limit where you're just kind of like, does this thing have enough power to pull anything? <laughs> the engine is very small with only about 1.5 liters making 99 horsepower. Yeah, no, this is that's the reason why I'm kind of concerned about the utility of the truck. It seems like for a truck that you want to haul anything with, I know gearing is the most important, but you'd probably want to shoot for at least 200 horsepower. So I'm not sure if this thing will, will be really good for hauling. I know it probably is more for lugging around work parts, like a, hauling around lumber or hauling around sheet metal, all that kind of stuff. I just hit something on my desk. Horsepower isn't everything, but it's still important to a point. Granted, the towing specs haven't uh, been released yet, and it's not just Chinese company working on it. It's also GM. so. I'd be willing to bet it's in pretty decent hands. Now, even though the power and look of it is kind of on the downside, all of this can be forgiven for the low, low price of, what is it? 58,800 yuan. Or, in American money, that's around $9,000. That's right, you're getting a brand new truck for $9,000. It's not a looker. It's probably not a very amazing worker but it'll get the job done. Right now it's only available in China, but there have been smaller talks about possibly releasing it in the US. So for any of you guys that want a cheap truck, this might be the way to go for you. All right, now for my personal opinion, uh, I think this truck looks awful. And honestly, in my opinion, I'm all about the looks of a vehicle, but also the specs just aren't as impressive enough for me. I can get a used truck that has more horsepower more torque, better for towing, and has similar bed dimensions, at least when the sides are folded up. But that said, the flatbed thing is a very, very useful tool. I know uh, there have been many times where you had to make multiple trips on a truck because you're just that much, you need that much more room and you just don't have it. And this truck actually offers you more room than you're ever going to need. Even though this truck won't be released in the US, I'm really hoping that at least uh, its opening flatbed design will be released here because that 
is very useful. There may have been trucks that came with it already, but not that I know off of the top of my head. That all wraps things up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, t-shirt store, all that BS. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.